Hello everyone and welcome back to The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2 Retribution. Now, I originally was going to make this video after I completed the game and got all the weapons, but I learned of the import codes you can use to get free stuff. And I used the Axeman one, which gives you a lot of creatine. And a lot of axes. Just for free. It's amazing. And max materials. And max upgrades all crafting recipes. That's how I have all this stuff. So, I guess I am going to be going through every single weapon in this game. Main weapon. There's a few I missed, like the screwdriver. I couldn't find one. And the, um, like the frying pan and those items that you can still kill the walkers with. But aren't really considered weapons. So, yeah, I could not find those. But we got everything else, it seems. I am actually probably going to continue on this um, profile now. I think I'm going to catch up to where I... I'm going to start streaming on this profile now, I imagine. So I can actually do the Sable quests, you know. But this video... I'll, I'll catch up to where I was, and then, uh, you know, we'll stream from there. But uh, let's check out all the weapons. So we have... The bow, the laminated bow, and you also have four arrow types, as you can see. I got, I got a couple arrows. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, you got, you can actually use these to stab zombies. You got the regular, the explosive, the lure, and the new one, the flare But yeah, you pretty much just pull back, let go, straightforward. But uh. And you have the improved version, the compound bow. Well, it used to be called the compound bow. But, yeah, now it's just called the improved bow. Pretty straightforward. And now over here, we have the lever action rifle. Which, actually, real quick, I'm going to go put the laser sight on this thing. I forgot to. You can put the laser sight on a lot of weapons. And this one is one of them. So we'll just uh, slide it on. And you can just poke it right there and it'll turn it on. It's really cool. Man, I love PlayStation VR 2. This game is amazing. But the lever action, it's pretty simple. You uh, shoot and then... See, you know that thing where I just said it was pretty simple? You know, forget I said that. There we go. And this. So you do that and then... Let go. And then you can reload it like that. Pretty easy. Pretty cool weapon, honestly. And then you have the spiked bat. The, the nail bat, as it's called. It's a two-handed weapon. And you just swing and whack him in the face. Pretty straightforward. And the... Grass cutter katana, really good one. You can slice their heads off. You can stab them. You can actually hold it like this. It's you gotta be careful doing that. You might get grappled on accident. But really cool weapon. Love the grass cutter. And then the lighter, you can actually stab zombies with. Just grab them, stab, grab them and stab them. That's what I like to hear. And a few of the grenades, the explosive egg timer. This I, I'm not going to demonstrate this one. Any of the bombs, obviously. But normally you'd grab here, twist it, and then once the timer hits zero, blammo. And now the sticky proximity. You throw this down, and it will actually stick to a surface. And then once something touches it, blammo. And here... We have these three weapons you can only find out where you're exploring. This one you can craft. So we'll do this one first. The Esteemed Mortal. This was in Chapter 1. It's just a really improved axe. And you can actually stab them with this little pike at the bo bottom. It's, it's kind of hard to do it, though. And then the Fire Axe, which is really nice. I love the Fire Axe. It's just so clean. It's such a clean weapon, but it works the same as the Immortal. And the crowbar is essentially the same. 
except, you know, it doesn't, it's not as satisfying. It's more heavy, it feels. And then the hatchet, which actually is not very good. It doesn't have much durability, so be careful. But if you find it, you know, it's a cool find. I'd recommend just keeping it as display. Unless you find two, which then you could use two on display. That'd be cool. Uh, now let's get into the actual weapons here. So we have the Nova, which is just a pump shotgun. So I'm sorry, I, I wish they would have like a shooting range in the resting place. That'd be nice. Boom, boom. So I could test out all the weapons. And then you have the the bolt action rifle, which shoot and then pretty nice. But you know, when you're out and about, not very good. Did it not save any of my laser sights? It really didn't save any of my laser sights. That makes me mad. Hmm. But yeah, this can have a laser sight on it. Yeah, as you can see, it's a bit janky, kind of hard. And then you just eject the clip, put a new one in, that's how you reload. And the double barrel. Really nice. Cannot put a laser sight on this one, or the Nova, for obvious reasons. It's a shotgun, but then reload, pop it open, takes two shells, flip it up. It's good in a pickle, but that one's obviously better. And then you have oh, the Magnum Opus. Probably one of the best weapons in the game. Well, definitely. You have the full auto mode. And you can actually change it. Touch it once, and now it's a burst. Flip it again. Semi-auto. And then flip it again. Back to full auto. And then you reload like so. And then normally you'd pull back here. If you were completely out. And then some knives. You could the kitchen knife. You can only find this while you're exploring. Pretty clean. Not much durability. Shiv. Pretty much the same thing. Just improved. Or let me look at the stats actually. Well this one's more durable. Way sharper. And the same level of throwing. So. It's a good starting knife. And then the night shift. This is one of the best knives. It's one of my favorites, absolutely. I love it. It's just an even more powerful version of the shiv. And then the cleaver, the regular one. These are usually just for slicing their heads off because it uses less durability when you actually slice their head clean off. And then the fourth in pain, which is just an improved version, I believe. Way sharper, more durable. And same level of throwing, because you're not going to be throwing a cleaver, really. Then you have a new one, the Chosen, which doesn't actually show any stats, really, so... Hmm. Don't know why it does not show any stats. Maybe because it's the same as another weapon, I don't know. I, I'd assume it's the same as the Night Shift, just cooler, judging it off of how it looks. Speaking of cool... We have the Absolution, which is, I believe, Michonne's katana. It's the same as the grass cutter, I believe, just a lot cleaner. And then you have somebody's hand, which I actually don't enjoy that much, as you think. It seems like it breaks quickly, but it's still a really cool weapon. Then the National Guard knife. I think this is Daryl's knife. Works the same as any other knife. I can't really demonstrate these. Then you have the new... The Sap Gloves and the Louisiana Kiss, which now you can punch walkers. I'm wearing the Louisiana Kisses right now. They're way better. The, those, these come broken when you craft them. It's not very enjoyable. And then you have the hand grenade. You just pull the pin, throw it, and blammo. And then the nail bomb, which is an impact grenade. So be careful with that. And then, huh, some new weapons. We'll start here. Here's the Warren SMG. This one actually has a grip. Pretty cool. I'm glad they added an SMG. And then you just eject, like so, to reload. Why is this here? Swap these. There we go. And then you have the Warren sawed off, which you can actually use one hand with, but probably better to use two. 
and then it's pretty much just a smaller double barrel double barrel can you actually store it here you can that's insane and then the 45 revolver which the revolvers you just eject like that and then bam that's why that pistol right there is probably better because it's easier to reload but it's nice having these and then you even have the upgraded versions rick's revolver the sheriff which actually is the same as this it just looks nicer and it's easier to craft sure as hell sounds nicer too love it and then you have the chicago way is that what this is called yeah it's just upgraded double barrel no different really and then the devil's paintbrush which is an upgraded worn smg but does not actually have a grip it's only one-handed Pretty sure this is upgraded a lot more, like possibly more ammo. It shoots a lot faster too. Nice. And then you have the Judge Negan's baseball bat, which is definitely better than the spiked bat. Overall, I'm pretty sure it's the same though. Love me the Judge. And then you have, you can actually use a spoon if you didn't know. But as you can see, terrible durability, sharpness of throwing. It's got like two kills and that's it. It's gone. Then the FS-92M. Definitely one of the top five best weapons. It's very reliable. Love that thing. That's why I always have one. This one has a laser sight. Ew. And then you have the flare. I'm not going to pull it off because it might go off. And it's annoying. But you have the regular 30 revolver. First gun you ever use. It's just a weak version of the 45 caliber. Whatever it's called. Then you can use... A broken bottle. It's got about the same durability as the spoon, too. And then some new weapons over here. You have the Orphan, the brand new bow. But as you can see... I shot that so hard it went through the dang map. See? It's such... It's such an amazing bow. It really is. And then... This one's exciting. Le Bram. The grenade launcher. Then you pull it open, throw a shell in, and close it. Pretty nice, and then. But be careful with explosives, obviously, because it's the Walking Dead VR. You can die pretty easily to those. And then this is just an upgraded bolt action. It's called the Vera Express. Works the exact same, I'd say, as the bolt action. Inject the clip all the same. No different in that regard, but here is the real magnum opus. Dr. Teeth. So you can actually slice their heads off. Or do that. <laughs> yeah. See, I imagine you can sloppily stab them with one hand as you can or maybe swing it around like this. It's, it's a pretty fun looking weapon. Never actually tested it. But then for the reload, take gasoline, just pour it in right there, and it will actually stop once you do that. So if that's how, if you want to get it to stop, do that or drop it. That might do it. But yes, this is this is all the weapons, really. A lot, a few of them are just reskins or stronger versions, but they work pretty much the same. You got your stabbing knives, your cleavers, you know. Pretty straightforward. But this game is a lot of fun. Would recommend it. If you haven't played the first chapter, go do that. And they also updated it with a PS5 version, but you do have to pay money for it. You can't just get a free upgrade. Just kind of sad about it. It's $40 for the first one. But luckily, if you played it on the PSVR, I'd just go ahead and get this one. It's pretty much the same thing. Just upgraded. And less. Well, you don't have the chapter one stuff, obviously. But that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe. Uh, turn on notifications, and I will see you all in the next stream, which may be this game. Who knows? Hopefully, we'll be able to do Sable's Quest this time. <laughs> and I will see you guys there. Peace.